My daughter said, Mother, couldn't you write a book about teenagers who fall in love and do it, and nobody has to die? And I thought, yes. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. I felt like someone was being honest. That's a gift. That's magic. There was this moment where, wow, like Judy's talking to me. I read Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing. I read Dini. I like the blubber. This is my favorite book. I grew up as a good girl with a bad girl lurking inside. So by the time I started to write, I really had a lot to get out. I could be fearless in my writing in a way that maybe I wasn't always in my life. It was the first book I had read about wanting to grow boobs and the myths around how to get them and what to do. Everything I learned about sex or crushes, I learned from Judy. Let's all say it. Masturbation. Let's raise our hands if we masturbate, everybody. <laughs> Oh, Judy. We can take time, taking the rain. Overnight, the censors came out of the woodwork. Forever is banned year after year. Margaret gets banned because it talks about bras. I think the kids have a right to read and to get honest answers to their questions. Dear Judy, Dear Judy, Dear Judy, Judy, today was the worst day. I have a million problems. Kids opened up to me in a way that they couldn't to their parents. And I would answer. This is the first letter I got from Judy. That was the beginning. We wrote for many years. She allowed young women to be as complicated and messy and funny as we are. I had that recognition of, I trust you, and wherever you're going, I'm down to come with you. I don't think that Judy Bloom wrote her books to be timeless. I think she wrote her books to be timely, and they were so timely that they became timeless.